Hi, my name is Ralph Gray. I'm a senior church planting consultant with the Baptist State Convention of North Carolina, a mission organization with 4,500 member churches. Our goal is to plant 100 new churches every year. I'm also the president of the Filipino International Mission Board USA, which mobilizes Filipino American churches to reach the unreach people groups. On behalf of these two organizations, I bring greetings of love and grace from our Lord Jesus Christ to all of you, IDMC participants, leaders, and staff. By divine appointment, Pastor Edmond became my mentor since February 2018. And he's not only my mentor, but he has become a dear friend to me. I love Pastor Edmond and Pastor Anne. They are God's gift to me, to my family and my ministry. God brought Pastor Edmond in my life at the right time. When I met him, I was living a life that was running on empty. I was burned out spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically, which one day culminated in an emergency room because of irregular heartbeat that followed frequent visits to the doctor's office. And I was so busy mentoring church planters from 30 different nations who were reaching 70 language groups. And I got burned out because in caring for others, I had not adequately cared for my heart or soul. I was preoccupied with the external to the neglect of the internal. And I put second things first, and I ended up having no time for the first things. And I suffered from countless sleepless nights. But God is indeed our great and good shepherd. By His grace, He used Pastor Edmund to show me again the importance of being rested and rooted in Christ. He reminded me that the purpose of God say in saving me is intimacy with Him. He inspired me to do my daily quiet time again, and this time to really begin to feed my soul, not because I have to prepare a sermon to feed others. I learned to listen to God's voice again through the reading, meditating, and memorizing of scriptures. I was reminded that my public life can only be as strong as my private life or my inner life. And as my mentor, he guided me patiently as I cultivate and grew from the inside out. Now, I have begun to see that my newly cultivated life began to bear an abundance of fruit for the glory of God. My family experiences it, my ministry partners notice it, especially my wife enjoys it. Pastor Edmund modeled to me how to live and serve again from the point of being rested in Christ which impacted my discipleship life now. Now I am strongly convinced that discipleship precedes disciple making, and intimacy with God precedes influence for God. Being precedes doing. Discipleship is from the inside out. It's not just about actions. And I repented from my understanding of spiritual maturity, which is often wrongly based on the outward forms, what we do, rather than on who we are and more importantly, whose we are. Discipleship starts from within, and I have to take care of my inner life, because if I do not take care of my inner life, I will measure things by the external, by the temporary, and I will miss the grace that transforms me within. Jesus says, you follow me. With those words, I ask myself, what am I focusing on today? I focus on Jesus. I follow Jesus. Discipleship is all about Jesus, and my discipleship journey continues until Christ is formed in me. May you have a blessed journey ahead until Christ is forming you. God bless you, and I love you all.